Welcome back we're back with another video and since my last video did so well about um, me showing you all a realistic view of a first apartment um, I decided to do another video about how I was able to get my first apartment make sure you comment like and subscribe to this video and let's get into it so first things first I'm bad at budgeting I'm a shopaholic so it was hard to be like, okay, let me save this money and I got to, you know, get my first apartment. I got to, you know, move off campus. I'm going to get ready to graduate. I got to be an adult. <laughs> it's giving. I don't want to, but, you know, it's about that time. And at the time, I was living with roommates and a house and the lease was um, coming up to the end. So it was just like, oh, I got to find somewhere to stay. I got to find a new place. And let me tell y'all, it's so hard to find an apartment like literally like they want you to make three times the rent they want you to have history and i was not on the lease at the last place i had took it from one of the um other roommates so i wasn't on the lease so i technically didn't have any rental history so it was just like your girl is a newbie out here and oh they don't know if they can trust me or not so i have to deal with that on top of trying to find an apartment making three times the rent like i'm broke what do you want from me um so it's so many things to take into consideration where you're getting your first apartment so one 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 budget what's your budget for this you want it to be sensible i was thinking unreasonable at first because i was like okay i'm gonna get this good job i'm gonna be able to pay rent i'm gonna be able to you know stay in a nice part of town you know the dover or er, no my friends are working at Amazon type places and Nike and working like, you know, 24 hours a day and they can be able to afford that type of living. I like to work maybe three, four hours a day, a week, maybe sometimes, <laughs> but I don't like working a lot. So it's just like, yep, I can't afford that if I'm not working like that, especially in that type of role. So yeah, that was out the window. Can't stand it over. Y'all gonna have to come to the hood to see me, period. Because that's what my budget is right now. Like, I can't afford the Dover type money. I can't stay in Collierville. Can't stay in Arlington. Can't stay in Cordova. Bartlett. <laughs> Y'all can have all that. I'm trying to be cheap. I'm trying to be on a budget. I'm trying to save the most money. So, yeah. Staying in the hood. Let's delve into that. Not necessarily, but staying with a place within your budget. So, in your first apartment, I feel, isn't going to be your best place. Because it's just like, it's your first apartment. And I feel like. I've been told this so many times and I wanted to dispute that too. Like, oh, my first place is going to be bomb. And it is. Like, once you get inside it and it might look raggedy on the outside, but you know, you can possess it on the inside. It's just being mindful of the area you stay in too. Like, it doesn't have to be like, oh, grimy, gritty, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you can handle that though, if you know you strapped up and you can, me, I'm scared of guns. So it's just like, I had to be kind of cautious of where in the hood I was going to stay. So I picked this place that was, you know, in an okay area. And um, it was way within my budget. So we talked about your budget. Ugh. Location. Location is going to be a biggest issue for some people because, as I said, I stay maybe in the hood to some people because y'all bougie. But if you're bougier, you will have to take that into effect. Like if you want to stay in a nicer area, your rent is going to be higher. You know, if you stay in a lower income area, rent will tend to be lower. And it all depends on if you want to live close to your job, close to work, close to family and friends. I chose a location that was fine for me, myself, and I because only me is paying my bills. Y'all can come to moi. Or it's just like y'all live so far, y'all have to come pick me up or something. Period. But it's just like, I know location is a big issue for people. And I know, like, it was my biggest issue, too, because I was like, I wanted to live away from campus, and I wanted to be in a okay place, like, you know, kind of a nice area. But I was like, I ain't going to play nice area money right now. I'm broke. So it was just like, it is what it is. Your girl got what she got. But I know that's a thing, like, for people is to go somewhere that you want to be in a nice 
location. You don't want to worry about your Amazon packages getting stolen and nobody breaking into your stuff when you're not at home, when you're working. But I took all those into consideration for myself because I work from home. Like, both of my jobs now have been, like, <laughs> I've had three consecutive jobs in this um, one place and they've all been from home. So, I think I, we can thank Corona for that. So it's been much easier for me. Like I'm able to be at home to protect my things, even though, you know, I'm gonna have to pew pew somebody if they walk up in my stuff and I don't really wanna pew pew nobody. But if you walk up in my stuff, you are gonna have to pew pew your way up out of here. But yes, like I recommend that for all women too, is get something to defend yourselves. And it's gonna be in my next video about apartment essentials. But this one, you know, is about tips. So yes, we've got your budget, locate budget location, and we want to go ahead and start shopping. All right, so now you got your budget in mind, and now you know the area you want to live in. You got your price range. What's next? Create a wish list. What all do you want in your apartment? Do you want hardwood floors? Are you fine with carpet? Sorry. Are you fine with, okay, what you want the bathroom to look like? Because I know the bathroom is a big thing for me. I want the bathroom to be straight. I want it to be nice. What's the vanity area looking like? I need to know the tub, shower situation, stuff like that. Um, what is the kitchen coming with? What appliances and things like that? Washer and dryer. I know like all of these are big things that you need to think about. And like, I had to think about these things. So I'm like, ooh, ooh, what am I gonna do? So my apartment doesn't come with a washer and dryer inside. It has a coin op on the outside, which I do not use. I go to my mama's house to wash my clothes because I'm broke. I'm not gonna pay to wash my clothes. I'm sorry, not right now. Um, when it comes to that, I probably will, or you know, a girl would be making enough money to move somewhere else. But right now, I'm gonna go to my mom's house to wash my clothes and think about that type of thing. Can you go to your parents' house and wash your clothes? Like, I know a lot of people don't have that because I didn't really have any help with getting the apartment and looking at everything like that. It was just all on me. But once I got in my stuff, I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna wash and dryer, so I'm gonna come to your house and wash clothes you know, whenever I can. And sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's not. Sometimes I can go to my friend's place and wash clothes. And you really gotta appreciate them because they be very clutch. Like get you some really good type. Right now you need to make sure, okay, so the kitchen situation, bathroom is what you want, what the room's looking like. So do you want a one or two bedroom? Me personally, I wanted a two bedroom. I know, I know a lot I'm wanting with such a tiny little budget, but I was able to do it. You really have to look, I'm saying, like, you can find these things that you want within the budget that it, you want it in. Like, you just got to really search for these things and really pray on it and it will, God will put it in your life, you know, because I was really, y'all, I'm y'all understand, I was on a broke girl budget. I was, really didn't want to pay for nothing and I wanted a two-bedroom for myself because I wanted a study room, which is this room, and my bedroom, because I wanted my work and my personal space to be separate, even though sometimes I still do work in the bed, but I wanted two separate spaces. So it was just like, those are things you have to take into account. Like, okay, do I want a one bedroom? Okay, am I fine with just me, myself, and I? Or even a studio, because my um sister, she has a studio, and that works for her, and she got it in a nice area of town, but her rent is higher than mine. But it's a studio, and she's fine with that. And her and her baby, her, and her not her baby, but her dog's her baby. Uh, her baby be up in there, and her, like, it's a nice space for them. So you can take all of that into account. Studio, one bedroom, two bedroom. Take all of that into account, which setup that you want. Um, make sure you're checking the square footage. I really didn't know anything about that type of stuff until I started apartment searching. And so it's just like, you really want to get into it to see like, okay, how big is the space? How can you imagine it? The best thing I can tell you to do is look it up on YouTube and you'll see people's apartment. They'll either tell you their square footage and stuff like that. So you can know the space to look for or look for it online. The layout, they'll have the layout of it. Like it'll be like bedroom here, bathroom and like in the room or some something like that. And kitchen, living room, like it'll have a whole little setup. Like it's, it'd be in a little box and it has all the little names and the, their places. And another good way I gauged it was looking on YouTube at like white people <laughs> looking at theirs. 
like they are good at dimensions like just some little construction videos so i could get an accurate i really wanted an accurate depiction of what the space i would have to work with because i was like i have a lot of junk and i know i like to get stuff so i was like i need a lot of space so make sure that you do look at the square footage of the apartment that you want because you could be staying, I'm gonna throw something unreasonable, like 250 square feet. Baby, that's a closet. You are living in a New York closet. That's not even an apartment in New York. That's a closet. So it's just like, make sure that you look at the square footage. This is tip four. Look at your rental application. Because these people be scamming. And I don't want it to happen to you. Because mother have scammed me. Out of application fees, application fees, application fees. So you really want to only apply to the place that you really want to live at. See me, I was in a desperate situation. And I was trying to move, move, move. And it was just, I was on a tight deadline. And all the money I had saved for my apartment, I just had all that money saved up. And I was just giving it to these people, really. And you couldn't get no application fee back. So I was paying application fees. Some places would tell me, oh, I can move in. So I paid application fee and security deposit just for these people to tell me, oh yeah, we don't have none or you don't qualify and kept my money. They're liars, they're scammers, they're terrible people. And it's just like, here you are out of 500 some dollars. I was losing too much. I lost thousands in some application fees and I don't want that to happen to y'all. So I will say, only really apply to the place that you want to look like you want to move into don't just be like don't be like me i was in a very desperate situation where i was i had a very strict time crunch like two months two three months to move out and i needed to get somewhere quick and i was i was just going through it but i don't want that to happen to y'all so make sure you only pay where you want to move into because i don't care i'm gonna say it these rental people they be scammers scamming people they took all my money and they were calling me back and they called the office it was just so unprofessional it was so ghetto and i didn't expect it from them because they rent was kind of high and i was like y'all should be a nice establishment no girl they was ghetto let's go on okay i think we're on five think about if you want a roommate or not so for me i had lived with two other people so it was just like I'm over this. I'm ready for my own space now. So that's what I wanted in my apartment. But you may be like, well, my best friend, me and my best friend are going to live together. And I'm like, okay, girl, I spent that rent. Them bills going to be cheap. But keep in mind, are y'all both tidy people? Are y'all both clean people? How are y'all going to respect each other's boundaries? Um, or do y'all care if people come in and out? Because me personally, I really don't care. Like, as long as, you know, you ain't walk around naked or nothing like that. I really don't give a flip-flop who be in my, like, who was with the, like, was um staying the night or nothing like that. But, you know, my roommates did care, and I didn't care. So, it was just, like, it was just a difference of opinion right there. So, I think you should just take all of that into consideration. Um, Make a, like, house rules type list Um, to be like, oh, I want this to happen. We should be considerate, but you know, try to keep, I don't know. I'm just a really easygoing person and stuff like that. I'm just really meticulous about cleaning. Keep the shared spaces clean. That's the only problem I have. I mean, I don't know, that's it. But then again, I don't know. I might be a bad roommate here. I like my music loud all the time. I be up all night. Um, My best friend comes see me basically every day. I don't know, I just, I didn't think I was that bad, but hell. The only other time I would have had anyone complain about me when I was an RA, but who gonna say something? Who you gonna complain to? I'm an RA. But the only thing I did bad was I just play music all day long and I like it blasting. I like to be deaf. I like to be deafened by music. So that's probably my only bad trait. And I took those things to account and I was like, yeah, I can't be nobody roommate. Or I like really did want a roommate, like so I could at least wouldn't feel alone all the time, but no one wanted to be my roommate and I did this on my own. So here we go. Um, Just think about that. It really cuts down on bills a lot. Y'all would have the rent, 50-50, light bill, Wi-Fi, all of that type of thing. Food, it just depends on your relationship. But I would, you know, totally suggest the best friend route. You know, if y'all are both cool about it. But if you're not cool about, you know, you don't want to see her dude or his dude or his girl every single night and day 
or y'all get into it a lot i wouldn't suggest it like if y'all have one of those relationships where y'all be off and on off and on and then y'all have to live together yeah it's gonna be hell because it's just gonna be like y'all beefing oh i don't like her i just know how to leave a house i've seen this i've seen it all so it's just like I rather avoid all the drama and I lived alone. So that was the best thing for me because I, I really don't like drama. I don't like confrontation. I hate it so much. It just stresses me out and it's just unnecessary in my eyes. And I was just like, let me just live alone because that's going to be the best thing for me, for Alicia. So let's go on to point number six. I'm hungry too. I'm doing all this talking. I'm hungry. I need to eat. Okay, so six. Um, we want to go ahead and start your apartment essentials list. So, me, I'm very heavily into thrifting, and I'm also heavy into Amazon. Two places where I got most of my things from. Amazon and thrifting. Um, and Wayfair, even though I learned later that Wayfair be doing some messed up things. But I already got some stuff from them, so I can't complain now. Um, most of my things came from me previously living on campus in the dorms. So it was just like moving those things with me, my mini fridge, microwave, and you know, just knickknacks and stuff like that. Um, bed that I had bought at my first place. You can get beds for really inexpensive on Wayfair and Amazon. My bed is from Wayfair. It is a low profile bed, so it sits lower to the floor. And I like that feeling and it's been better for my back. But I'll talk about that more in my next video. But it's been a wonderful experience with that bed. Like, everyone who gets in a bed. That's a bad thing. To, but I'm not saying a lot of people have been in my bed. Like, I'm some type of Jezebel. But I'm just saying my friends that have laid in my bed have told me how comfortable the bed is. My bed is really comfortable. Like, it'd be a problem how comfortable. Like, I can make things comfortable. I'm like, I'm a nester. I would I make things as comfortable as possible. And it'd be a problem because I don't want to leave. So yeah, so you wanna make a list of your essentials and how you want your apartment to go. So my best tip was that I found when doing my research is to shop by room. That was the best tip ever, shop by room. 